What do you think about the patch? I think Jonathan Tennis said it the best. This patch seems like it's a step in the right direction. Maybe two steps in the right direction, one step in the wrong direction. But they should have launched this patch like a month after the previous one. One step in the right direction is not enough. At this point, we need a fucking marathon in the right direction. And so to have this patch for like three months when, it, you know, like it's kind of concerning they did not think, they, they didn't like do more, you know. Um, I think the biggest thing is that the balance seems worse, this patch, significantly worse. Because uh, red, red Wild Assault is just far and away the best Wild Assault now. Somehow, they managed to make Red Wild Assault more superior than to Blue than before. Which is just fucking insane. Like, if you play a Blue Wild Assault character now, you probably got worse. And every Red Wild Assault character probably got better. Because they, they beat every blue walls all character more. Um, white wild salt still seems really good, honestly. But it's probably significantly worse than red still. But yeah, like, I mean... The big thing is that red wild salt... Is like... Like... It's, it's like having a wild salt... Like, from what I can tell, I haven't really been playing that much. Like, like I've just been labbing. But what I can tell from watching people is that if you had a red wild assault, you play a season three character. If you don't have red and you have blue, then you're kind of back to playing season two again. Which means good things in terms of pay gameplay because um, season two is way less toxic, right? But it also means... Season 2 characters have to fight Season 3 characters. Because, like, 98% of the time you use Blue Wall Assault was when you broke the wall to keep Hard Knockdown. And now you don't have that. So, Red still keeps its main use, which is more combos, right? But, but Blue had lost its main use. Which is really strange. Um, why can I not hear anything? Johnny seems way more fun. Like just the dash speed is kind of crazy. But yeah, it, it is actually so disgusting. Like I just I it's really hard not to be mean when you talk about this patch. Because even though there's very, very good things and the game does feel better overall, I don't think they can have people that actually test this game. Because why does Red Wild Assault still work the same? Except it's better in some cases. So what do I mean by this? Well, uh, let me fix my buttons first, right? So like before, if you did this, it was actually like, it was still a great precision, but if you try to do anything else, you got thrown, right? And so what a lot of characters had to do was do like jump moves that be jump like that, or they had to do like this or backdash, which is just like a way worse block string, right? But the problem is that now, Red has ever so slightly increased pushback that they can just walk back. Like even a single frame is enough. Like, so to show, this, it was kind of like this before. Like, even if I walk back, I, I still get thrown. And for Soul, it's like even worse, where Soul can now... He doesn't even have to walk back anymore. If you don't insta block him, he just like automatically beats throw. 
And he has a small CS too, so this is like, like it's really rare that you can beat throw like this. So yeah, it's 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 kind of insane. They they literally just they literally just buffed Orange Wild Assault on block for some reason. Speaking about buffs, dude, Johnny is so fast right now. Holy shit, dude. 15 frame dash. <laughs> no, exactly. Yeah, like, I don't think they test this game. Genuinely. They, because, like, they said it was going to be harder to do pressure, but it's easier. It's not even, like, a tiny bit worse. It's, like, it's honestly not worse at all. Yeah, Johnny has like five ages more to show in it. This one has more range. Um, this has counter hit now, which is really fucking big. Like, because before, like Johnny's whole thing of like doing this is kind of hard to enforce because he could just mash buttons here. So we put Soul on like six age, right? You just get counter hit a lot of on a lot of things. Um, you could always do some shit like like this, but this might whiff if they do nothing. But now Miss Finer has full fucking counter hit. Before they would fly just like a normal hit, so they would just fly like this, no combo, no nothing, right? But now, yeah, you like explode it. If you're in the corner, like. Like, you fucking kill them for this shit. This is on Soul, too. Is Auto actually a real character again? No. Um, so let, let's go through Sauda so we have him done, right? Um. Sado loses more matchups this patch than he did before. Bef in the in the patch before, he lost arguably 28 out of 30 matchups. In this version, he loses every single matchup in the game. Thank you, Deverlane. Thank you. I'm very proud of being able to be consistent in a game as volatile as this. Okay, so Eddie is faster, but only forward. This helps for some things, like... Like, so, sometimes you can get, like, um... Certain combos. Where you can move him forward. More forward. Um... Like this combo, for example. The fact that he's faster that it helps you move him. Um, that is one change. If you break the law, instead of swapping places with Eddie, which was basically useless, fuck, I'm, you now teleport to him, which is okay. But like, like, I do think this is a buff for sure. Um, something cool I saw was someone who did this. Um, wait, what the fuck did they do? Let me, let me check again. I think they put Eddie in like a really weird spot so that it crossed up. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, like that. You put him, like, right on top of it. Which is cool, but, like, not really needed, because from this, you could cross up like that before. And still get high-low. So this is probably still worse than that. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I think this change is, like, it's, like, a cool change. 
It's just like not enough to make the worst. Like it's not a care. It's not the type of change you you give to like the worst character in the game by far. It's the type of change you give to like you know so a character that's already re really good or at least high tier. So that's like a n nice niche thing, right? His flight is still dog shit, like super short. His normals did not get any improvements. P buttons still have travel time and lead to nothing. Um, yeah, you can't even like, combo this anymore because his P button doesn't reach far enough. Um, and uh, the other change, which is the biggest change. Wait, no, no, there's two changes. Okay, so. On block, if, like, if you have Eddie out, and, fuck, let's give block. And they kill Eddie. Uh, with burst. Wait, how the fuck? Oh, it's. Okay, so it's not gold burst, it's only regular burst. Wow, they were really scared of doing anything, huh? Um. They were very scared. Okay, so if Eddie dies here, but I block it, it see how it's red bar? It is red regen, but like instead of it die him having zero, it starts from where he was. So now I have it again. Um, I think. Yeah. Okay. So this, at least this applies even if both of us get hit. So I I have him here already, right? This is nice for the characters that only burst, like burst was the main way to, to kill Eddie. Uh, and it also applies to YRC, but if they hit him. So let's just say after block, 2K. Okay, he's not fucking blocking. Like if he blocks, and then just mashes. Then he's dead. He's still dead for six seconds, right? And uh, for characters like Soul, he can just gun flame and neutral. Leo can just fucking fireball, right? And so it's just really small. It happens, you know. It helps, but it's not by much. Um, the actual biggest change. Uh, this combo used to work before, but it was Croucher only. Um, this combo is now better because Pierce is fa one frame faster. It's only one frame though. But the reason why it only works, like Crouching has one frame more hit stun, which means that this now works on standard, which is nice. Right. So now his reward from like random hits is significantly higher. Uh, if they're counter hit. Is there a gap between 5H and Pierce? Yes. There's still a gap from 5H to Pierce. Which is, so it's still not that good. Um, the problem is, is that, okay, so he can get, like, getting a combo from, from 2S, this is something every other character already got, right? The problem is that, it, you know, it's not like he does that much damage, right? Like, this is not damage. And so before, where you did this, and then you wall assaulted, and now I can keep Oki, Nothing happens. Like, they're just back to neutral again. So, it's... Like, uh, how badly he got hurt by the walls I'll use this is kind of insane, honestly. Like, yeah. Now you have to do... You have to go back to doing what you didn't see before, which is like... Like, just do this over and over. 
But Wallspat still Wallspat still gets way more uh, burst than it did in the previous one. He still doesn't have his new move. Grass is home. I am. So yeah, Sado is somehow worse. Which is just incredible. I don't think he is uh, much worse though. And added on to that, there are some characters that are uh, that are that were better that are also worse. Like the power level in general has gone down. Oh, Jonathan and Patch coping. Stop, bro. Please. Gobo thought he was broken in both of the patches where he was bottom one too. I don't think the bu the bur buffs to burst don't help low damage characters as much as they should, basically. Like, that that is the by far main issue. It's that, like, it's not that you were getting too many bursts in general. It was that high health, high damage characters gave too little... Gave too few bursts and got too many compared to the few characters. Yeah, it needed to either be get, getting less bursts for getting hit or at the very least, like, less bursts for long combos or something. Or have burst scale on damage or something. Yeah, I mean, th this situation would happen a lot where I would do this. Yeah, and like, dude, look at the burst. He still has 75 bursts for getting burst baited. Can I do this combo shorter? Yeah, if I don't want to build meter, but like... This is still half burst. Keeping the combo short still gives them half first, and then, yeah, they already have a full one. I actually think, people have been saying Chaos is better, I actually think he's probably worse. I actually think he's significantly worse. But we'll see. Thank you, Koma, thank you, thank you. Happy you guys all enjoyed. Because, like... Hypercast's entire strategy is he does so little damage, but the way he was able to get damage was by just doing this and then wall salting. And then he would like kind of fix his resources with that. Or by doing something like this, where it's like his resources are kind of fucked, but like he has positive and he can keep them going. And now he just has to regular wall break. Like, see, see how, like, I'm... Even in this situation, I'm kind of fucked resource-wise. Too much talking, Evo. I screamed a little bit for Nitro and Eren, but it was mostly karaoke. He pulled a fucking heroic shift, dude. 9 a.m. 9 p.m. to, like... I think it was 9 to fucking 4. <laughs> And then I went straight from the fucking karaoke place to the airport. Nerf to research characters in general. I don't think in general. Um, but I do think it's a nerf to chaos specifically. That's what I feel right now. I could definitely be wrong. And I'm... I will say this. I actually hella, 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 hella prefer, like, not doing this shit. Like, I think doing this into Wild Assault was so fucking boring. So, like, basically just hard force breaking, regardless of the situation. Like, just always go for wall break. 
I think it was really lame. Um, but yeah, the pro the problem is now is that like, okay, so you're gonna start the round, right? And you're gonna see our meter. This is what you do now. And then you run, and then you try to run pressure, right? But this is like, so like if I played against a soul, this is probably what I would do. play around DP, right? I have to play around DP. Try to try to slump. No low on resources. Get, and now after three hits, I get a wall break, right? Now the problem is, and this is a really big problem, is that this is a season two strategy. What does Soul do? Like, dude, he he's the same. He does this. So I'm on hitbox him. Okay, and then wait. Uh I need to remove his meter, right? Like, it, it's actually such jokes how broken Orange is now. First off, look at the damage here that Soul has done. And look at Soul's meter. He does this. He does that. You know, he, do, he does a fuck ton of damage, right? Um, like, like an average soul run can legitimately just be like this, right? This is a very normal round. He does this. He almost hit 50. He, like, backs off a little bit. Then he does car revolver. DP. DP. This does less wall damage than before. 50-50 high-low. Dead. Right? This is a neutral skip. A true high low with pressure, even if you block it. And remember what Chaos did? Has the player on DP. Has hit one more time, and like, like it. It's just crazy. Like, oh, I'm playing on DP. Okay, let's say I get this hit. Play around DP again. And now, that's my third hit. At this point, Chaos is already dead. <laughs> Yo, Mats, thank you so much for the... <laughs> I mean, th thank you so much. Uh, happy birthday, sorry. I'm all tired, my bad. So yeah, like, it really feels like they just... Like, do I have my tier list here? Uh, I have a kind of hard time seeing it, seeing uh, the, wait, let, let me remake my tier list real quick, right? So uh, this is not gonna be super ordered, but like just general gist, right? I think something like this was my tier list before. You know, ish. I I don't even remember. Like I'm not gonna look through and make sure this one one to one. Like these are these were number one contenders, right? These are S minus tiers. These are high tiers. High tier was very very big. This is like lower high tier, upper mid. Characters that needed buffs, and then Sado that need need a fucking buff cannon. And so basically, what happened was the Golos went down a little bit from top of high top tier to like lower top tier because while wow, wow, it's still broken on him but it's worse nago went down like a tiny bit because uh wow, wow salt but he hella benefits from system changes may went up because she did not lose almost anything and everyone else lost soul and uh leo lost a little bit because uh dprc 
Ram went up because she didn't have DPRC and she has red. Sin went down a bunch because he he lost like DPRC, which was his main thing. Oscar went up a bunch because basically you his blue wall assault doesn't have the flaws of regular blue wall assault and um what's it called? He is one of the best characters at getting wall broken. Like not being able to wall break Osaka with hard knockdown is a massive fucking issue because he has so much health and you can't mana break him without looping wall break. And if you go back to, if you wall break him and you don't hard knock on him, he's just going to super and then it's his turn. Um, and then Anji is way better because red wall assault's broken and neutral skips. Uh, all these characters went down a little bit. Melia went down hella. Slayer went up hella because of changes. Geo probably went up. Johnny went up. Abba goes up as well for the same reason as Slayer. And so like, it's like kind of realistic in my opinion. Like I, I could see Abigail's go up too. Uh, it's really hard to rank Abigail's, but like, I'm not, I'm not trying to rank Bridget either. Like Bridget could also be better. Uh, so could Jack, but like, the issue is basically that I think it's kind of realistic to say that in the top tiers, like if you combine these two tiers, it's red, 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 uh, blue that doesn't use setups, blue that doesn't use setups, red, red, and then blue that doesn't, that like doesn't function, that functions like a red. And then there's two wall walls on characters. Like, I think it's pretty realistic to say that just like almost every single red wall assault character is better than every single blue, except for maybe Asuka um, and the characters that don't use it much at all, basically. Because red is just the only wall assault that's a good broken wall assault anymore. And it's just really, really, really fucking strange how they could just nuke the use cases of most wall assaults and then not think that that would balance like they would have to balance all of them all is because it's purple so true how do i go all scott you don't get to say that bro you play soul how do I kill Asuka as a Happy Chaos main who already lost matches when I got 10 hits on him? I mean, old Happy Chaos didn't like lose clearly to Asuka. <laughs> that matchup is dog shit. Or I mean, it was, I guess. It's not the same fashion. Right? It, it's literally just both Asuka and Happy Chaos do the same thing, except that Asuka has twice the health and has better neutral skip when he has meter. It doesn't have to interact with like back throw back dash YRC. Shouldn't Chaos get moved up as, as well as Simba racing to Asuka? He does, Chaos does benefit from a lot of the same changes. But the problem is, is that, um, oh yeah, we have the new colors now too. Actually, I actually kind of like the Chaos one. Okay, so, so why does, why do I think Oscar does not? Well, first off, high health, high damage characters still hella, hella benefit from new burst changes, and Oscar is much higher damage than than Chaos in a lot of cases, and he has way more health, right? So the biggest issue is that Oscar already kind of hit hit once, then when Tesk is three, and then he would draw cubes, right, and he would set this up. And then he would just kind of get Exodia. And then at this point, you kind of fucked, right? It doesn't even matter if you break the wall at this point. Like, you can. And sometimes it's a nice band-aid. But Asuka did not rely on breaking the wall. Right? The thing with Chaos is that Chaos will get one hit. And then he wants to break wall. So he can get more, he can, so he can get more uh, resources. Chaos can't get Exodia. Chaos can't like, you know, he doesn't have as many different resources he needs from a hit. So basically that I think he suffers way more. And he doesn't have like, if Asuka wall breaks you, right? 
and he doesn't have um, Wild Salt, right? In this scenario, even if Chaos has 50 in this scenario, Asuka still wins, right? Like, because he's going to get positive and he's going to do this. Um, meanwhile, if if Asuka gets wall broken, but he has 50, then he just does super. So I think that's the main issue that I see. I could be wrong though. Like it's still very early, but I definitely think like everyone I've talked to said, thinks Asuka is better. Whereas Chaos is more up for debate. But I could I could see Chaos being better too. I just don't think so right now. And I I am usually right on if my character is better or worse. Sometimes I'm a little bit off, but I I do think that I am in general pretty correct. On where my character will end up being. Yeah, Ozika post wall break is like the best character in the game. If he has a good cube, he literally just says fuck you. What's the argument for Chaos being better? Other characters are can't snowball Chaos as much. Um, so the theory is that like, let's say you're playing Soul, right? And you wall break. Um, so you only had 50, right? Uh, why can't I do this? Thing? And so you wall break. And the theory is that because Chaos is very good neutral. Because this happens and then Chaos can go back to playing neutral and like do this. It won't be that bad. Or like that. It's going to be very hard to keep Chaos down. My issue is that I think people forget that Chaos neutral is not triple S tier anymore. Because his zoning is so much worse. I actually think the way Chaos right now functions is that he's a snowball character. He kind of gets one hit and then he just keeps going uh, with Wall Assault and Meter rather than out, you know, godlike neutral like he used to be. So that is my fear essentially that like he doesn't benefit as much from the force research and neutral as people think he does because his zoning is so much worse. Um, but we will see. We will see. Uh, another big change is that that DPRC is no longer a thing, right? And Chaos does have access to a lot of safe jumps. So not being able to like RC this on block is really fucking big. Safe jump. Dude, we were doing such degenerate shit to beat deeper C towards the end. Like, this is a strategy me and Jack were working on where you would cross up with specifically a long reaching normal like JD, and you would options like backdash on the on the DP so that you could so you could um, so they couldn't RC it. And now you just don't have to do that. Thank God they fucking removed that shit. Oh my God. Like DPs are still fucking broken. People don't realize that the main reason why DPs are broken is actually just because of fucking bursts. So many people I've talked to don't realize that like, so the problem is now that since you can't grab DPs anymore, DPs are actually better in some ways. Um, so what I mean by that? Well, basically, you can't inter interact with someone who... Like, if I have burst and a DP, it's really fucking hard for you to kill me in one interaction. Right? Because if you bait me, then you hit me and I burst. And I'm back to, I'm back to playing, like, winning, right? Um, 
and so what could happen was that you would throw someone and then you would enter a situation where they can't burst like this for example so like oh even if they burst it's kind of hard or you would throw them and then you would threaten throwing them again and this is a burst save combo and then i super and you fucking die but now you can't do this because you can just do wake up dp or mash and like both of those um basically like you have several options of beating the throw more or less so dps are act are like straight up significantly better when you don't have rc you will see people dp the first block string wait like if chaos does this you have such a high incentive to dp here to stop him from getting pressure on and like yeah you don't get a combo but like you're getting fucking why am i so bad at this? oh yeah playing like dude getting this like even just getting neutral back but getting pressure and getting them off you is such an insane benefit like dps are broken in every single game like in street fighter street fighter there's universal reversals like supers and drive reversal but having a dp is still a fucking massive deal to the point where like bison's offense is meme level broken just to make up for the fact that he doesn't have a reversal right but the problem is that soul doesn't really have any issues just because he has one of this, these dps and i think the main issue with soul is that he has so many other ways to spend the meter well so like he can wire C, and because his wild throw, he's one of the best YCs in the game. He can fight. He can like convert his mash by doing this into gazillion damage, right? He has backdash BRC. Uh, he does have super PRC, but it's not as good. Um, like he already has so many good ways to spend meter, even on defense. Couple with the fact that he has the best neutral skips. So Soul can kind of just use his. Soul can kind of just play a new meta where he uses more YRC and backdash PRC along with DP. And DP has more of a last resort rather than a first resort, right? To where his defense is still godlike. And then he ends up spending the meter more if he's right rather than to prevent being wrong ever in the first place. And he backs up his DPs with burst more. So like, does it matter? Of course it matters, but like, I think in many ways, DPs are almost as strong as they were before if your opponent relied a lot on throws. Now, did Chaos rely a lot on throws? Kind of. I will say that is one of the benefits of Chaos, that Chaos can like, so a lot of other characters, they would either do this or they would do throw, right? To be, to beat, in DPs and down. Not even just when they had DPRC, but even then, right? The good thing with Chaos is that Chaos does have alternate ways of baiting DP like this, right? Um, and he can, he can also like roll, for example. Um, so yeah, that that is a very good thing for Chaos that like he, he just has way better ways of... Um, uh, he has way better ways of dealing with DPRC, or like he doesn't have to deal with it. Um, I will say, I don't know how much it matters, but uh, I do think it matters. Okay, next up, we're gonna check out blue wall assaults. Oh my god, what a fucking color! I think these colors kind of look good, but some of them look really ugly. It's too harsh. Okay, so how much is the knockdown actually changed? So yeah, war blue wall. I mean, sorry, white wall is still broken. Don't get it twisted. This still has frame one, frame nine in wall. And you can still like combos half the time, right? 
Yeah, like that. Yeah, I, th I think you're thinking about 2P. 2P works sometimes. I think sometimes they dash, and then 2K is also. But it's like it, it's like spacing specific, I think. Um, how much less recovery does it have now? One good thing is that. Okay, so this is a pretty big thing that before this, it was harder to react to what wall assaults. It's still incredibly hard. But this is frame one. And on frame three, the sigil comes out. Are we still going to VSF? No, I don't think so. I got more points now. This patch doesn't seem too good right now. But uh, most importantly, I want to play 2SKO. 2SKO is during VSF. That's why I don't want to go. Yeah, I'm just happy I, like, gave everything, you know? Like, it didn't end up with a win this time, but... This game is so... Hard to be consistent in, and I'm still managed to do it, even though my character got nerfed so much. And, like, I think... Winning EVO Online... Top 3 at the first one... Fir first offline one... 13th at the e EVO Japan... Um that year winning evo then seventh at this e evo japan and then seventh at the other evo like nah my results are kind of ridiculous like for the biggest tournaments especially considering that a lot of the other best players uh for strive like gobo yumi show tempest uh Beric, slash zondo um Jonathan Tene, Aaron DeMac. You know, a lot of these other players have not, outside of like Yumi Show with the win, have not, don't necessarily have the same consistency when it comes to Evo Society. You know? like, even though Yumi Show's won, like she did worse at Evo Japan. Uh, and uh, obviously this one. Do I think 2HKO is a way away still? Um. Maybe? I don't know. We, we, we don't really know. I think that next EVO, I'm not going to be playing Strive. Or at the very least, it's not going to be my main game. And 2SKO is going to be my main game. We don't know when 2SKO is going to come out. I have no insider knowledge like that. I'm saying is that I think it's pretty likely that it's going to be out. I mean, yeah, the, the issue is that Arxis just doesn't listen to the pro scene and take forever to do what they need to do. Any pro player would have told you, are these red wild salt changes enough? And they would have said, this is going to make red wild salt by far and away the best. Any decent player would have told you that. Uh, I'll be playing Hunter Hunter. Like, I'll try that. Rivals is coming out this year. I'll still be playing Strive most likely, but like, unless the November price is real bad. But by the by this time next year, I'm assuming I'm gonna be able to scale. Don't you need more points for Arc World Tour? I I am going to tend to more. I'm just not going to VSF. I'm going to I'm going to UFA, maybe Greece, uh, ECT. Siotaku, Frosty. So I, I, I'm, I still have the option to go on a lot more things. I'm just not going to VSF because I want to play 2SKO. Two 2SKO looks kind of plastic. 2SKO actually looks pretty good. I don't think it looks quite as good as Stry, but it's still early. And has been getting like a lot of visual inside, like design improvements. Like, um, 
It's get, it's been getting better all the time, basically. Like visually and sound wise. And it's a really fucking good game. It's really fucking good. I I have so much faith in that.